As we prepare to sculpt this shape into the RC car body, it's important to know about one specific tool that's going to come in very handy and reduce the amount of work you need to do. And that's the symmetry tool. The symmetry tool can be found on the toolbar just to the right of modify. And if you click the arrow just below it, you can see there's several different options. The ones we're going to focus on during this project are mirror internal and the clear symmetry option. It's important to know that you can add symmetry and remove symmetry at any point during the design process. We're going to start by adding symmetry. We're going to select the mirror internal option. And what we need to do is select two faces that are symmetric to one another. In this case, any two faces will work as long as they share the center line along the center of this model. You can see a green line is presented to indicate that symmetry has been added and clicking OK will allow you to commit that symmetry. By doing that, you've essentially told Fusion that any change made on one side of the symmetry line should be reflected on the other side as well. To show you what I mean, if we right click and select Edit Form, select the Vertex Selection option, and you don't need to know how to do this just yet, we'll look at Edit Form in a moment, but I wanted to show you what symmetry actually does. Once we select a vertex point, we can use the manipulator to make a change and it's reflected on the opposite side of the symmetry line. If we cancel this, we also have the ability to remove symmetry when needed. If we select the arrow under the symmetry option on the toolbar, we have the option to clear symmetry. When you do that, you need to select a face on the model and then select OK to remove symmetry. With symmetry removed, if we do that same edit and we select that vertex point, you'll notice that the change is not reflected on the other side. Now that you know about symmetry, go ahead and add that symmetry because we're going to make a symmetric model. One half of the car is going to look exactly the same as the other. So I'm going to repeat that process one more time by selecting internal symmetry and selecting any two faces that mirror each other along this center line of the car. Selecting OK will add that symmetry back to the car and we're ready to begin sculpting.